Okay, topic, position, audience, and goal statements. Can my topic be defended from both sides? Um, and can I, have I clearly laid out my position? Have I identified the audience and my goal? Is my goal written as one clear and concise sentence? So, I was just going to say, number one, you need to make sure that your purpose here, because you're persuading, put two po points of view, a for or against it, um, be defended. So you're asked, being asked, persuasive writing is a particular type of writing, and you need to consider that as well. And that has also to do with how you lay out your position and your audience and your goal. Um, so those are going to be important things that you'll be learning in chapters one, two, and three. Piece of supporting points. We, we talked about that earlier. It's as you're doing your research and you find out what are the reasons why you're feeling a certain way about a position and you, you're backing yourself up. You need to make sure that these points make sense and they follow a logical order and they support your goal and um, whether you have related each one of those points to your audience. So again, uh, that makes total sense for how you go about building up a, a persuasive essay is you're making supporting points that are logical, flowing, and they work to persuade your audience because you've used good research to back up what you're trying to argue. So again, uh, that makes total sense for how you go about building up a, a persuasive essay is you're making supporting points that are logical, flowing, and they work to persuade your audience because you've used good research to back up what you're trying to argue. Prof. Lauren, you want to um, be the research organizer? Absolutely, right? And over here, we're looking to see how complete your research is. You'll notice the percentage, right? 40% of the credit is coming from this section because the quality of your research is going to be really, really important if you want to make sure that you have enough to say and enough evidence to back up your position. So um, what we're looking <laughs> for is uh, credit, right? Is your, do you have six sources, right? Um, so you have the APA information for six different sources. Do you have your paragraph telling us what three, your best three are um, about, right? And why they, for your thesis or your position, right? <coughs> are those sources actually related to your argument, right? Are, are they, um, you know, sources that really will support what you say? And are they credible? Um, meaning that were they written by experts um, who, um, you know, are ethical, who are well-researched, who are experts in the subject? Um, and we'll talk more about that in week three. So don't worry if you don't know what all of that stuff is right now.